Welcome back. We're here at MJ Harrington's in Newport, and joining me now is photographer Jillian Martlew. She's part of the Regional Druid Exhibit at the Library Arts Center right now. Welcome. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you very much for coming. Your work is in photography. Yes, I really enjoy photography. It's a hobby. I'm not a professional by any means, but I get such a kick out of, t of taking pictures mm -hmm. and having something to show to people at the end of, of a, t a photography session. I get very excited about it. Well, you're a storyteller. You know, that's Photographers are storytellers with pictures. Yes, so it is that telling way. a story. Tell us about the story that you have up at the exhibit. It's a very special story. Mm -hmm. um, Harold um, lived through the Depression, mm -hmm. and he ha got a, a farm in um, Cornish in the 1960s. Um, it actually belonged to his wife, but it needed a lot of work done on it. Mm -hmm. And his profession was as a carpenter. And so what he did was take chunks of the building and move them, literally move them around. Wow. And turned a very old building into a very, very loved and beautiful building. Mm -hmm. And um, interestingly, it sort of stayed in an odd time warp upstairs. And I would find myself up there and thinking, this is something I don't think I'll ever see again. It's almost like I've gone back in time to the 30s or the 50s. So I started bringing my camera over and taking pictures. And the exhibit, although it includes a lot of pictures of the house, is also about Harold. Mm -hmm. He loved the farm, he loved mm -hmm. the land, he loved his tractors, he did um, maple syruping, he cut down trees, and he was doing all of this into his mid to late 80s. Wow. And so I suddenly felt that you know, as he started to get older and found it harder and harder to do certain things that he loved so much, that I was looking at the end of an era, literally. Mm -hmm. And so I started not documenting it, but taking pictures when it felt right. And so there's pictures of him on his tractor, pictures of the farm, pictures of his beautiful wood pile. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a story. It, it, it's a story of him and his love of the land and how he improved everything that, that he touched. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That farm was his life, and it's High yes. Hope Farm, isn't that right? Hope. Which yes. is such a great name. You have the original sign as part of the exhibit, I don't do. you? I do. And the way that Kate has displayed it is beautiful. She, it, it, yes, it just adds something very special, a very personal mm -hmm. touch to, mm -hmm. to the exhibit. Now, Harold is no longer with us, isn't that right? But were his, some of his family members able to come and see? Yes, yes, it, it was bittersweet. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was hard but beautiful. And one of the family members said to me, do you know, I hadn't seen this place that way. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't even thought of that, but that was, that was a comment that stuck with me. And a lot of the public came to me and some people had tears in their eyes and said, wow, wow this is really beautiful. Yeah, well, I'm sure some people knew him because you said his farm is in Cornish. That's close. So people had probably bought wood from him or had things repaired by him throughout their lives. What a wonderful tribute. Yes. That's really nice. Yeah. So what else do you like to take photographs of? Well, generally I take pictures that are relatively abstract, mm -hmm. things like ice. And <laughs> There's a lot of that this year. There's a lot of that this year. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, cars, pieces of cars, um, yeah, people, believe it or not. Right. I don't seem to have, a lot of photographers have um, a niche, some place that they always go and photograph or a particular subject. I don't, mm -hmm. and it's, it's very interesting. Initially, I was cross with myself and thought <laughs> I ought to have a niche. Mm -hmm. But it, it seems to be that my best images are those where I am somewhat in love mm. with the subject or the subject matter. Mm -hmm. And that seems to come through in the pictures. Wonderful. Well, great. Well, we encourage every, anybody in the audience to come check out your exhibit, and then they can reach you by telephone if they wanted to have you do some work or see more of your collection. Yes, they can. So best wishes, and thank you very much. Thank you, Lynn. Take care.